COVID-19 has turned our world upside down as we know it. While many have had to overcome struggles, people are finding new ways of life, getting outside, and slowly adapting to this new world. As this pandemic has affected each generation differently, in this video you will hear the voices and opinions from three generations of a family and how the virus has most greatly affected them. It's affected my life in many ways. Like Initially, I thought staying at home, I won't go to school, that will be a big change, but I often do that as well. But then I forgot like on weekends I can't hang out with my friends anymore. And sometimes you do something and you improve at something and you want to show your friends. Like I've been working hard on basketball and now I can't show my friends that. So it's a big bummer. That's sort of how COVID-19 has changed my life. I feel trapped. I feel like I can't go out and do the things that I used to do. Like go to the movies, meet friends for dinner, shop. And it, it's confining. It feels confining to me. Well, since I'm 80 years old, uh, clearly I've never seen uh, anything in the world that has impacted so many people and basically sequestered families in their home, talking about social distancing and wearing masks when you go shopping. It's just like I'm in a science fiction movie. I'm not as scared about like catching it and dying because I'm very young, but some fears about it is just the amount of time it will take to return to normalcy uh, from this outbreak? Mostly I fear that my parents who are older are in a very high risk group. And my biggest fear is that one of them or both of them would contract the virus. And I worry what, what might happen if they did. Well, at 80, uh, needless to say, uh, what you read, they older you are, the more uh, you may be impacted by the virus. So my wife and I are doing all we can to adhere to uh, uh, living safely in this very dangerous time. I think this will be written in history books. We're learning about um, like the, bu uh, the bubonic plague and the black plague in our grade. I think in about 100 years, they'll be learning about this outbreak. I hope we learn from this pandemic. I don't think the response was a timely one. And I think now we're sort of chasing after ourselves and playing catch up, and that's always a dangerous game. So I think uh, what I hope we learn is uh, preparedness, that we're prepared in case this would happen again, that we have enough ventilators and medical supplies, uh, that we, uh, coordinate efforts with uh, the World Health Organization and that uh, instead of reacting like I feel we did in this situation, that we take proactive measures so that if this does happen again, we're far more prepared. I have confidence in the scientists in this world and the chemists that there will be a vaccine that will be developed to curtail this type of virus from ever impacting the world again. Uh, one thing that's changed for me is I value teachers a lot during this virus, but I value teachers a lot. I This outbreak really made me realize how much they help with your assignments and when you're struggling. We've had to hunker down and be in our homes and we haven't had the same connectedness we enjoyed and I, I certainly took for granted. I think uh, that social distancing uh, might lead to isolation and withdrawal. I know that it impacts all generations and uh, we all need to be uh, cognizant of trying to live safely in this environment. This virus has no boundaries and is not limited to a country or two countries, but clearly impacts the entire world.